If you're building a new home and you know that you want solar panels installed, you're going to want to do this first. What we have is the main distribution panel. The electricity comes in from the street and you have a breaker. That breaker is going to go into the house and feed the sub panel where all of the breakers for your lights, your stove, your microwave, everything's going to tie in and go throughout the house. Generally, when we're retrofitting a solar install on an existing home, we're gonna put it on the roof up here and we're going to run conduit straight down the house, put the inverter, disconnect, production meter, any electronics we need outside, and then tie in with this breaker up at the top. In this situation where we can pre-wire for the home um, before the insulation and the drywall and everything is done, it allows us more options. We're actually going to go to the utility room where the sub panel is, and we're going to tie our solar in here. Because the drywall isn't in, the insulation isn't in, we're able to go straight from the attic run conduit down into the basement where we're at right now and install all of our electronics down here. When customers want us to pre-wire, depending on what equipment they want in their home, if they want batteries or car chargers, it's going to be anywhere from, let's say a thousand to $2,000. But here's the thing is you're saving money on your install. So when we come to install this system, we'll be ready to go. We'll have a, a junction box up on the roof. We'll have conduit ran all the way through the house and into the basement. And we'll be able to just mount our electronics, pull our wire, and it's going to save us quite a bit of time. We were able to put our disconnect and our production meter out here right next to the main distribution panel and so when the exterior gets finished it's going to be hardy board everything's going to be flashed and it's going to be recessed and it's going to look really good we are able to run our wires through all the joists come down over here and add an additional sub panel right here where the solar lands now on the dc side we were able to put in a junction box and we ran two separate circuits to two separate roofs and this is where we'll be able to mount an inverter inverter and uh, battery uh, storage as well 